There are going to be people along the way who will try to undercut your success or take credit for your accomplishments or your fame. Taylor Swift is an American singer-songwriter who is known for narrative songs about her personal life, which have received widespread media coverage. The Grammy award-winning singer-songwriter made a splash in the country music world in 2006 and has gone on to become one of the top acts in popular music. Having sold more than 50 million albums, including 37 million in the US, Swift is one of the world's best-selling music artists and the highest-earning female musician of the 2010s. She has won 10 Grammy Awards, a Brit Award, an Emmy Award, 6 Guinness World Records and is the most awarded act in the American Music Awards with 29 wins and most awarded woman at the Billboard Music Awards with 23 wins. I would look at their Instagram pages or their Tumblr or their Twitter or whatever and um, and just kind of watch them for months and months. <laughs> and then go back. Her full name is Taylor Allison Swift, but she's also known as Swifty and Tay Tay. As of this production, she's 30 years old and was born on December 13th, 1989 in Reading, Pennsylvania in the United States. She is 5 foot 10 inches tall or 1.78 meters. Her favorite food is cheesecake her favorite breakfast cereal is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Her favorite holiday is Christmas. Her favorite season is summer. Her favorite movie is Love Actually. Her favorite books are The Hunger Games. Her favorite style is vintage, classic, feminine. Her favorite flowers are orchids and hydrangeas. And her favorite TV show is Grey's Anatomy. Taylor Swift and Joe Alwyn reportedly met at the 2016 Met Gala. News of their relationship first broke in May 2017. Many of her songs are rumored to be about Joe Alwyn. Taylor Swift's relationship with Calvin Harris was one of her longest. The pair began dating in April 2015 after hitting it off at the 2015 Brit Awards. They even celebrated their one year anniversary with a tropical getaway. However, Taylor and Calvin split in June 2016. Taylor Swift and Snapchat CEO Evan Spiegel are rumored to have had a brief fling after meeting at Snapchat's New Year's Eve party in 2014. Matthew Gray Gubler and Taylor Swift spent the 4th of July together in 2013, sparking rumors that they were an item. Harry Styles and Taylor Swift were in a relationship from December 2012 to January 2013. Taylor wrote, I knew you were trouble, treacherous, style, out of the woods and I know places about her time with Harry Styles. Taylor Swift briefly dated Connor Kennedy from July to October 2012. She reportedly made Connor nervous after purchasing a $5 million house near the Kennedy compound at Hyannisport, Massachusetts just weeks after they had begun dating. Jake Gyllenhaal and Taylor Swift briefly dated from October to January 2011. Rumor has it that the Nightcrawler star dumped her via text message. Taylor went on to write, We are never ever getting back together, all too well, state of grace, sad beautiful tragic, and the last time, about her relationship with Jake. Taylor Swift and John Mayer dated from December 2009 to February 2010. Taylor reportedly wrote Dear John and the story of us about John. Taylor Swift and Taylor Lautner dated from August to December 2009 after meeting on the set of the 2010 film Valentine's Day. Taylor later wrote back to December about her relationship with Taylor Lautner. Taylor Swift supposedly dated her You Belong To Me music video star Lucas Till in 2009. Taylor Swift wrote the songs Last Kiss, Forever and Always and Holy Ground about her July to October 2008 romance with Joe Jonas. Taylor Swift wrote the song Should Have Said No about her high school boyfriend, Sam Armstrong, who reportedly cheated on her. Brandon Borello was one of Taylor Swift's first exes to have songs written about him. 15, Our Song and Tim McGraw were inspired by the couple's 2005 relationship. You just, like when I hear stuff like that, I just like don't have any control over like my body. I'm really? Just like, do you get excited or do you I, not care? Oh, oh, I care. You do care. Taylor Allison Swift was born on December 13th, 1989 in Reading, Pennsylvania. Her father, Scott Kingsley Swift, was a stockbroker for Merrill Lynch. Her mother, Andrea Gardner Swift, 
was a homemaker who had worked as a mutual fund marketing executive. Swift, who has said she has a Scottish heritage, was named after the singer-songwriter James Taylor. She has a younger brother named Austin Kingsley Swift, who is an actor. Swift spent her early years on a Christmas tree farm, which her father purchased from one of his clients. She attended preschool and kindergarten at the Alvernia Montessori School, run by Bernadine Franciscan's sister, before transferring to the Wincroft School. The family moved to a rented house in the suburban town of Wyomissing, Pennsylvania, where she attended Wyomissing area junior and senior high school. When Swift was about 12 years old, computer repairman and local musician Ronnie Kremer taught her how to play the guitar. He helped her with her first efforts as a songwriter, leading her to write Lucky You. She attended Hendersonville High School, but after two years transferred to the Aaron Academy, which through homeschooling could accommodate her touring schedule. She graduated a year early. She was discovered at age 18 by future music mogul Scott Borchetta while performing at a Nashville cafe. Borchetta signed Taylor as the first artist under his newly formed Big Machine Records. A year after signing with Big Machine Records, Swift released her first single, Tim McGraw, which preceded her first self-titled studio album release. Taylor Swift reached the number 5 position on the US Billboard 200, but obtained the number 1 spot on the US Country Music Chart. The album produced two number 1 hit singles, Our Song and Should Have Said No. To date, her first album has been certified platinum more than four times by the RIAA. Swift's second album, Fearless, peaked at number one on the US Billboard, US Country, New Zealand and Canadian music charts. It has been certified platinum in four countries, six times in the USA alone, and also produced two number one hit singles, Love Story and You Belong With Me. She has performed with music artists such as John Mayer, Justin Bieber and Faith Hill. As of this production, she has sold more than 50 million albums worldwide and 150 million singles. Between 2009 and 2018, Taylor embarked on five world tours that grossed a total of $943 million. Swift has made several television and film appearances, both as herself on Saturday Night Live and Dateline NBC and in fictionalized roles on shows like Valentine's Day, CSI Crime Scene Investigation, and Hannah Montana, the movie. Additionally, Swift has appeared in many popular publications, including Seventeen, Teen Vogue, and Rolling Stone. Taylor Swift's net worth is $400 million, and she earns roughly $150 million per year. Taylor Swift has a Beverly Hills house worth $2.85 million. The 2,950 square foot mid-century modern home features beamed white ceilings, many of them with skylights, and floor-to-ceiling windows that reportedly drench the entire place in light. It's described online as light, bright, and airy. The living and den dining rooms open up to an outdoor pool, which is surrounded by 360 degree mountain views and lush landscaping. And there's a working fireplace in the main room that leads to the garden. The gourmet kitchen features stainless steel appliances and its own breakfast nook. And there are plenty of cozy spots to eat outside. Taylor Swift also owns a home in Nashville worth two and a half million dollars. The multi-winged main mansion measures 5,601 square feet and includes four bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. A two-story detached guest pool house added in 1964 measures 2,087 square feet and has indoor and outdoor living entertainment spaces plus two bedrooms and two bathrooms. Taylor Swift drives a Toyota Sequoia Porsche 911 a Mercedes-Benz Viano and an Audi R8 Taylor Swift also has her own private jet a Falcon 900 Trijet, 
which allegedly cost around $40 million to buy. On the nose of the jet, you can see the number 13. This is Swift's favorite number, and oddly enough, before every show, she draws it on her hand. The jet has 12 seats, which means there's plenty of room for her entourage when she tours.